what I'm going to do in this tutorial is do what was probably the most popular request on the quest requests video that I did, which is about using a terminal for set quest stages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quest where an NPC asks you to retrieve some data from a terminal. You retrieve it and then return to him. So I'll just firstly create my NPC. Uh, let's call it ID tutorial NPC. And I'll just name him NPC. Like that. I'm, not, I'm just going to leave all the settings as default. And I'm going to create a voice type for him now so that he won't say the default dialogue. So I'll right click new here and right click new here and give it a <coughs> give it a name, call it tutorial voice. Let's look for the NPC that I just made. This and the voice type. We're going to go tutorial voice. Ah, there you go. So now we won't say any of the default dialogue, he'll only say the stuff related to the quest that I'm going to create here. Let's give it an ID. Let's call it tutorial quest. And I'll name it tutorial quest, as I've always been doing with these. Give it priority 55 and the start game enabled. I'm just going to save my plugin so that I can <coughs> test it and um, should demonstrate it being done. So now that I've done all that, I'm going to create a terminal for the quest. So it's somewhere here, there we go, world objects terminal. Now just the easiest way to do it is to just find a terminal that already exists and delete everything on it because that way it'll have a terminal model like this one so you don't have to set it or anything. So I'm just going to go to Abraham Washington terminal and give it a, a new ID, so I'll call it tutorial terminal and give it a name which is what will appear in the game. And now you just delete all of these like that and delete this welcome text because this is what will show up at the top of the terminal so I'll just say this is the tutorial terminal. This server type it doesn't appear to actually do anything this doesn't matter it can just be whatever you want and I'm going to have it unlocked so that there's no uh, you don't have to hack it and for the moment that is done and this will come up create a new object yes so what I'll do now is just go to the wasteland and place my stuff in the world let's wait for this to load up and I'll place them in spring bale Now I'll just put in a filter, a tutorial, because I'm going to be going and placing the NPC. Tutorial NPC, there he is. Not wearing any clothes and just looking like the default character. But, you know, it doesn't really matter for this tutorial. I'm just going to hit F and he drops right to the ground. That'll do for a location for him. And now we're just going to place the terminal in the world, so I'll scroll back, terminal tutorial terminal, click and drag. I'm just going to put it right nearby the NPC so they don't have to wander around for ages to get to, you know, do the quest. There we go. That'll do nicely for position. So what I'm going to do is create the quest stages. So I go to tutorial quest and quest stages number 10. I right click new. Set objective displayed Tutorial Quest 10 1. Yeah, that's all worked. And now um, I'm going to make a stage 20, which will be set objective completed tutorial quest 10 1. And then set objective displayed tutorial quest 20 1. That will work nicely. So I'll create some objectives now. So I've defined the objectives as being 10 and 20, so I'll make 10 here, which will be the first objective, which is going to be recover the data, so, no, data, right click new and create one for stage 20, and this will just be return to the NPC, like that. so only two stages, 
and I'll create a stage 30 to complete the quest. Just put set objective completed shoot quest 21. That's nicely. And now we'll reward XP 200 and just hit complete quest. So we will set up some of the actually for the objectives. Let's do the um, recover the data. I'll just um, let me think. I think I need to set this as a persistent reference first. Yeah, I do. So just double click it as a world object and set persistent reference, which will allow you to reference it in things like this. So I just right click new, set reference and render window, and that's to find a quest target. So a, you know, target will appear on the compass to show you where it is. And we'll do the same for return to the NPC. Right click new, select reference and render window, and NPCs are always persistent references, so you don't have to set that. So next, we will set up the topics, and we're going to create a greeting. I'll create a series of greetings now. So now, hello, can you get some data for me? And for conditions, we'll have get his ID as the default, and let's put tutorial NPC like that equals one. So that just makes sure that only our tutorial NPC can say this. Now I'm going to do a get stage condition. Uh, tutorial quest has to be below 10 which means that he'll only say this line when the quest hasn't started yet. Next up we'll do get the data please. I'm just going to copy all conditions like this and paste them in here. And now I'm going to say equals 10 and check goodbye. So what that means is when it's stage 10, i.e. when our objective is get the data, he'll just say get the data please and it will be an out of conversation greeting. So now I'm going to create a new thing. I'm just going to say exactly the same thing. Get the data please. Paste in the conditions. Only this time we're going to change it to equals 20. And this won't be out of conversation. That will be important for when I create the next set of topics. And I'm going to create a final one. Thanks for the help. Paste the conditions in and get stage equals 30. And I'll just set to goodbye. So that means when the quest is complete, he will have an out of conversation thanks for the help thing. So now let's create right click new tutorial topic. Just as long as it's a unique ID, it can be anything as always. So now we're going to create something to make you when the player accepts the quests I'll say thanks it's on a terminal around here somewhere so we'll just paste those conditions so it has to be less than 10 again so now we're going to set stage shoot quest 10 like that so now the quest has been accepted by the player, we'll check goodbye so that they kicked out of conversation. Now we'll add another one from the player returns. Thanks for your help. Have some money. Ah. Paste conditions. And now I'm going to set that to whoops, equals 20. Ah. So set stage tutorial quest 30. And player dot add item cap zero zero one or one hundred. So the player will be given one hundred caps for completing it. Need to make sure I add some prompts as well. And I'll get the data for you. So that's what the player will say. I have the data for you. And check goodbye so the player's kicked out of conversation. So now I'm gonna go back to the greetings and for the very first greeting which is this hello can you get some data for me we will add the topic tutorial topic like that so now that's all the dialogue set up so when you say this you'll have the option to say this and then when you return to him later get the data please because we've already added the topic it will already be available so you'll already be able to say this one so okay I'm just going to save my plugin so now we're going to work on the terminal which is kind of the main purpose of this tutorial now there are two different ways that we can make the data be a thing. And I'll show you the both the ways and they both basically work exactly the same. So we're going to create a menu item. New menu item. And it's just going to say download data. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create it so that this will only appear when we've been asked to get the data. Um, so I'm going to go look for get stage tutorial quest as to equal 10, which is the stage where we asked to get the data. <coughs> now the first way you can do it is we're going to, we can just do a generic result text which will say data downloaded and what will happen then is when you click that kind of data downloaded will appear at, like, at the bottom of the terminal and it'll just make like a t -t 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 tapping sound and we're going to add the result script here which will be set stage tutorial quest 20 and now the, we can also click force redraw and what force redraw does is it will reevaluate all the conditions so you'll click download the data stage 20 will be set it'll automatically reevaluate all conditions see this condition is no longer valid and download data will disappear if you don't click force redraw you'll just click it and download data won't go away because it won't reevaluate the conditions but i'm going to force redraw so it will reevaluate all the conditions so that's the first way you can do it just that simple app or if you want something to actually be displayed when you download the data you have to create a note for that so I'm gonna go and create a note now it's gotta be around here somewhere here it is note in items so because this note doesn't physically appear we don't need to worry about duplicating an existing one because it doesn't need to have a world model so I'm just gonna right click new give it an ID, let's call it tutorial note give it a name the data we're going to check text down here and the note text will say this is the data and hit OK and that's been created so now we're going to go back to our terminal like this and this result text um, will probably show up, we're going to go to display note look for the note we just created like this like that. and if you want the player to be given the note just check add like that and everything else stays exactly the same so I'm going to hit OK and save and so now that should be done basically what happens is you speak to the NPC if it's less than 10 he'll say hello can you get some data for me it will come over to here where the player accepts the quest and stage 10 will be set now once stage 10 is set that means that this will appear showing on the terminal you click to download the data once you've downloaded the data stage 20 will be set which is returned to the NPC once you're at stage 20 here you'll have the option to say I have the data when stage 30 will be set and when stage 30 is set the quest is complete so that is that I'm now going to go into the game and play through the quest and demonstrate all the things that I did okay so here I am in the world and here is our terminal down here it's called tutorial terminal and you'll see nothing has shown up and here's our text here this is the tutorial terminal power off now we speak to this dude here hello can you get some data for me I'll get the data for you thanks it's on a terminal around here somewhere get the data please and now tutorial quest has shown up and you can see our quest marker is pointing to the terminal tutorial quest to cover the data download data this is the data, data downloaded, and now it's gone. Note added for data. This is the data. Get the data, please. I have the data for you. Thanks for your help, have some money. 100 bottle caps added. And I didn't get any XP because I'm already max level as this character, and I've completed tutorial quest, and he's saying thanks for the help. So, yeah, that is basically that's just to demonstrate ways in which terminals can be used to set quest objectives. And, yeah, hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching uh, and goodbye.